Mikhail, can you tell us just why you were so keen to get Thomas Partey to the club? Well, we identified um, him a few months ago and we've been in following his progress. And obviously, the more you know about the squad, um, you know more about where you think that you can improve it. And, and we believe that he had the right qualities, both with his character and personality and as well with the technical qualities and positional options that uh, he can give to the team. So do you think he would give you more options in, in terms of system? Is there a particular system that you want to play that maybe you couldn't before you got I Thomas I think he in? allowed us to play different formations and he can fit in within those formations in different positions, which is a, a really good thing to have in a squad where in midfield I, I believe that we were a little bit short. So can you tell us more about that? Is there something specific you've got in mind or is it just having the flexibility? to have the options? Well, I have a few things in mind uh, that I want to start to train uh, with the team and, and it's going to give us a little more adaptability and a little bit more balance um, in defending and attacking transitions and the way we have to set up certain structure to attack better in, in certain moments of the game. It was a, a difficult transfer window for every club. Um, the conditions are very unusual this year, but are you pleased generally with the the business we did? Yes, I am very pleased. I think uh, we did quite a lot of the things that we wanted to do. Um, I felt that we have the right people uh, during the process. I think that uh, the plan that we put it um, with all consent with everybody that was involved on trying to get the deals done, whether they were in and out. And uh, yeah, it was hectic. It was just to the last minute. But uh, to be fair, it's been a really challenging market. Yeah, um, bringing players in and moving players on. We've got a very big squad now. How do you plan to, to deal with that and to cope well, with Well, we are not the only ones. I looked across Europe uh, what teams are doing. And to be fair, they are largest squad that they were last year. I think clubs have found uh, difficulties to get people out and as well to be bring people in. So at the end of the day, we have the same schedule as every year, but they cut one month. And as well as that, they included one more game in every international game. So we're going to get injuries, we're going to get players tight and we're going to have to believe in all the players we have in the squad and rotate them. And what did you think of the transfer market generally, Look, looking at other clubs? Any moves that caught your eye or anything that surprised well, you? Well, as you could see, there were some teams that they invested uh, a lot and they've been really aggressive in the market and others that, uh, quite surprisingly, they haven't done any business. So I think it depends a little bit on the strategy, it depends a little bit where those teams are. Um, the real needs and pressure that they were finding themselves in. And um, I don't know, I can talk about ourselves, what we wanted to do, what we've been able to do, and, and we are happy well with that.